Welcome back. Welcome back. We are back at it again. Uh, last minute living style, just how we like it on the fly. Um, Seldi's car you saw a few weeks ago, uh, he went through all the stuff that was in the back of his car. Um, basically, I'm going to go through little bits and pieces um, that I take, a little bit different to what he takes, um, just to sort of give you a sort of an A and B. Uh, so if you, if you are looking at you know, getting into forward driving or, you know, day trips, even just road trips, you know, things like that. Uh, just to give you a bit of uh, two different sides to what you can do and, yeah, pros and cons, I suppose, and see why I like the way I've set mine up better than Seldy's and sort of a few different bits and pieces to uh, why I've done it. So, yeah, let's go. Let's check it out. So one of the big differences between my setup and Seldy's setup is drawers he's got drawers i don't uh, basically i run um, like cargo boxes uh, i find it easier for me just because drawers do take up a lot of space and i do use my dual cab for other things at other times so uh, there's no point me having all that waste and space especially if i want to move um, something in the back that's going to be a little bit bigger um, so just run through what i've got in there um, there is one box that I keep in there. It's got all my essential kind of stuff. Uh, so what you'll see there is I have um, toilet paper. Always need toilet paper. You never know when you're going to need it. Not only for those little stops along big road trips, um, but you know it comes in handy every now and then uh, when you need something to wipe something up or whatever. Um, also in there I have my uh, blower, and that's mainly to clean um you know swags underside of swags when you're rolling them up things like that uh, i've got my floor covering in there uh, that goes underneath my swag obviously when i'm rolling it up i just uh, use the blower there works a treat way better than sweeping uh, but also i do have a uh, dustpan and brush super handy especially if you're getting sand off your off your feet if you're going to be um doing things like that when you go on the beach and that. Uh, also, I have my full length broom. What I did is I got a retractable one, which you can get from uh, Woolworths. It's pretty pretty stock standard. Uh, it's a um, yeah, full length broom, but it, uh, it, it twists and, and goes in on itself. So it's, it's half the size and that, that pretty much lives in there uh, all the time. And also uh, what I've done is I've put some bungee cord uh, basically on the on the roof. So I've fed that through and it's sort of created a bit more storage up in the lid there. And I've also got my axe. Um, it's a dual purpose. Obviously you've got your uh, wood cutting ability. So that's super handy when we go out for a overnight or somewhere we want to light a fire and cut up some wood. Uh, but also works as a hammer, which I use uh, when I'm putting out my awnings or uh, using gazebos, things like that. I use my axe as a hammer. Now the next major difference that uh, me and Seldy have uh, is batteries. He's got his wired in through a uh, dual battery system like you've seen. He's got his little battery monitor at the back, runs all that. He's got his fixed solar panel on the roof. But my setup is portable and that's one of the main reasons that I went for it because not only can it live in my car, it can now come out of the car and go into tents or be moved around when my car doesn't need it. So what I've done here is I've pulled out my angle battery box. Basically here, your battery lives underneath there. You've got a main isolator switch on and off. Your main screen here, that will show you um, power draw and it also shows you the percentage of the battery that it's on. Uh, so super handy. In here we've got a 12 volt socket and this is what they call a uh, posi fit lock so it's like it's angles um creation basically and uh it's really good because it, uh, it locks in there so um your fridge won't come out when you're um driving around down those four drive tracks and how i charge that is little anderson port 
So I've got a little uh, spot in the back of my car. I've got it wired in. I've got a little outlet, and that runs into there. Uh, what else this comes with? Sometimes handy. You've got a little five volt USB, which is good for charging phones, and a 300 watt inverter. Uh, so that's good, uh, mainly just for yeah, charging charging phones and charging GoPros and bits and pieces like that. As you can see there, don't put anything crazy in there. It's not built for that. It's sort of built just to charge a few bits and pieces. So that's what we use that for. So that's the underside of the battery. Got a 100 amp hour lithium, um, it's Amptron. I uh, just went with them just because purely of the reviews, they've got really good reviews on their um, batteries. So spent a little bit of extra money, but um, you don't really want this thing packing up when you are uh, out in the bush. So sort of throwing back to my last video where I talked about that cargo box on the top of my roof. Uh, basically the inside of that looks like this. Uh, I've got my fins. I've got a few bungee cords, tie downs, um, my snorkel set, gazebo walls. Um, in this little bag here is some tent pegs. So that's where all my sand pegs lie uh, for my awning and gazebos. As I mentioned before, the snatch strap is up here as well. Uh, so that pretty much lives in there uh, all the time, ready to be accessed. Uh, eventually I do want to put my max tracks on the top of this cargo box um, and I got that from uh, Chaos 4x4 uh, which is really really good and yeah I love having it on the roof. So that's pretty much a wrap guys. Um, I try to make it as interesting as possible obviously a lot of talking going through uh, everything that I've got in my car there. Uh, basically that's what I'm taking most times, uh, so more often than not, uh, that's in my car, ready to go. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple more trips going, obviously it is winter, it's starting to cool down, so it's a bit harder to get out there. Uh, a few commitments rolling around, but um, nothing we can't handle, we'll be out there soon. We're going to try and do a couple little things uh, through winter, so hopefully bring you some good footage. Um, but yeah, so... That's, a, that's our little video for today. Um, pretty basic, uh, like I said, lots of talking, not that interesting, but uh, just give you a little bit of an insight of what, uh, what I'm running in my car. Um, yeah, and we'll probably wrap it up there and hopefully you guys learnt something. Uh, hopefully, you know, you might find yourself uh, pros and cons between the batteries that uh, like I use and what Celdi uses. Um, mine's super handy, you know, being able to take it out of the back. Like I said, I like to have a lot of space um, left in, in the tray there, you know, because uh, especially doing bits and pieces around the house, you know. So um, basically that's why I got that set up. Showed you what's in the top. Um, that pretty much rocks with me most of the time. Uh, but until then, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, like and subscribe, obviously. Uh, if you do enjoy it, um, let us know in the comments. Do you want to see more of what we're taking, you know, what we're taking on overnighters, things like that, uh, what we're using to sleep. Um, obviously, we've, we've been through quite a few different setups over the time, so um, let us know in the comments what you want to see, um, and maybe even some trips if you want to see some different trips you want us to do, different, different areas you want us to get into. But uh, until then, we'll just um, keep rolling, hopefully keep this content coming for you, and um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Catch you guys.